Mr. Howard Lashen, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Michael. First of all, I'd like to say how proud and honoured I am to uh, receive this award. I'd like to thank the Australian Greyhound Racing Association for nominating me. I'd also like to thank the Adelaide Greyhound Racing Club and later the Greyhound Racing Authority for employing me for all those years. I think to be in an administration in a sport that you love so much uh, is, is fantastic. And uh, I really love the sport from a young age and uh, I still to do to today. Uh, of course, it couldn't be in the sport for such a long time um, without the support of my beautiful wife, Colleen, and my family. And uh, I'd like to thank my son, Graham, for coming up from Melbourne to be here with me tonight. Thank you very much. Howard, just stick around for a second. 50 years as an administrator in Greyhounds, how'd you do it? I don't know. <laughs> uh, as I said, I, I love the sport and love the industry, and uh, I think if you uh, love something so much, you dedicate your life to it. So what actually happened? The, the other bike just didn't turn back up, and you just kept on, kept on trucking, did you? That's right, and what's more, he took the funds, so we didn't have any money as well. <laughs> so uh, I, I don't started from scratch. I don't want to say it, but I think it's uh, pretty much the same these days, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, not that I know of, no. no. Uh, what was the biggest thing that uh, happened in your career as far as uh, the biggest change in, in greyhound racing that you oversaw? Well, I, th I think initially uh, was that we used to just run on a Sunday afternoon without any legalised betting or out any legalised greyhound uh, racing as we know it today. It used to just be with pilot dogs. And we fought for years to uh, get the legislation changed to allow it to become legal in South Australia. And uh, we had a government in at that time that uh, was dead set against it. I think they were all wowsers, but uh, <laughs> eventually we convinced them and I think that was one of the, the great achievements to get the sport going in South Australia. So. Congratulations. Thank you, Mike. Howard Ashland, ladies and gentlemen, a worthy induction into...